yes, we will be selling to, when I say the government, it's a government entity, a company that will hold the assets in the, uh, the power station, uh, the, the natural gas extraction. Exxon will be selling the gas to Guyana. Yes. But only, but only in the sense that this is a pass through to the power. It's not the country paying, it's, it's the, in order to fuel the power station. That was Alistair Rutledge, the president of ExxonMobil Guyana, speaking to reporters at a press engagement on Thursday. The forthcoming gas to energy project at Wales, West Bank Demerara, promises to slash local electricity costs in half. It will include a 300 megawatt power plant, a natural gas liquids plant, and a massive pipeline to bring the natural gas produced offshore at the Sabra block onshore to Wales. Already, Guyana's government inked a 759 million US dollars engineering, procurement, and construction contract to cater for the establishment of the two plants which will produce electricity from the natural gas. An ExxonMobil affiliate awarded the pipeline contract, expecting to spend between 150 million US dollars to 300 million US dollars. Routledge clarified how that sum will be recovered. We're making an investment that's incremental to the original developments offshore in order to transport the gas onshore. That's mostly the, the pipeline and, and that's several hundred million dollars worth of investment. So in some way it, it needs to recover that cost. And so the way that's been agreed is, well, okay, let's make sure that the, it, a, a price is put on the gas that reflects just that cost of infrastructure. No profit, just the cost of infrastructure. Now what that means is that it delivers gas at a very low price to the country, uh, very com competitive with anything you'd see internationally, and therefore that's why the, 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 His Excellency the President has been able to tell the country it will have the cost of electricity to the country. While reporters sought clarity on this arrangement, Routledge continuously emphasized that the company will not be making any profits. It will only recover costs. After its investment is recovered, the profits will be shared 50-50 with Guyana. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragabir.